CPT coding JJCPB introduction page 16 part 15 references to AMA resources continued for this example the blue reference symbol indicates that the 2011 edition of CPT changes and insiders view information is available that may assist in the understanding the application of the code right all it, it means is if you see a blue arrow like this one right here it means that you can have more information in in this in this publication cpt changes and insiders view right now the red reference symbol indicates that the winter issue of clinical examples in radiology should be consulted there's the red one right here and then you that uh, points to you to clinical examples in radiology and the green the green reference symbol shows the CPT Assistant Monthly Newsletter in July 11 and page 3, October 11 and page 9 is also in consultation. Right, if you see the green, which is in the middle right here, it, it, it shows that the CPT Assistant Monthly Newsletter should be consulted, right? And that they give you, they give you the date right there too. All right, so that's our theory for today. Now let's do a problem. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. This is the code for the problem. JJRVA 257 72, and this is a level three problem. What does level three mean? Level three means uh, we are doing these uh, problems from the book, and we have the answers in the book. But a level three means that the answer that we have is not the answer in the book. Why? Because the book is is a little old, outdated, and so the, the codes have changed. So we're going with the most recent codes, and, and in this case, the codes have changed, and we believe that the answer now for the same problem is the one that we give you. If you disagree with us, please uh, tell us in the comments, and then we will uh, review the problem. Okay, now the title for this problem is... ERCP or endoscopic retrograde coangial pancreatography. Okay. Now the whole problem reads like this. Surgery digestive system. Mm -hmm. Patient presents with a history of upper abdominal pain. Mm -hmm. Coangiogram was negative and patient was sent to the hospital for ERCP, short for endoscopic retrograde coangial pancreatography. Uh -huh. During the procedure, the sphincter was incised and a stent was placed for drainage. Okay, that is the procedure. Now, now we're going to count to uh, three, so you can pause the video and give us the CPT code for this procedure. One, two, three. Okay, the answer is 43274. As we told you before, this is a level three uh, problem, so this answer is not in the book. We, we believe this is the answer. If you disagree, just tell us in, in, the, in the comments. But we believe this is the answer with the new codes. So if you got that and you agree with us, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. You can do the other videos. Now, if you didn't get this answer, let's give you a few tips. Okay, tip number one. Tip number one, level three difficulty. Uh -huh. Original answer has two codes. In new CBT 2016, it has been reduced to only one code. Right. Uh, so the old uh, way to do it was to give you two codes for the procedure. Now there's only one code that involves the whole procedure, right? And if you disagree, please check us out in the comments and, and say something about it, right? Now, the number two tip. For this code, start with pancreatography. Right. And as uh, usual, uh, since we started it two days ago, we, we're going to give you links to understand the, the problem and uh, you just can uh, go the CC in, in the comments, you, you're going to find those links. And then um, we're going to choose a section of one of them that explains exactly what our problem is. Can you make it bigger and just play it there? In the pancreatic duct, when fluid collection, stones, or strictures are present, right. a plastic stent can be inserted stent. to bypass the obstruction That's or right. to drain the fluid. That's the stent, you see? Once the obstruction is bypassed, the normal flow can be re-established. That's it. That's what they're doing. They, they place, they're placing a stent, which means that, that it's a, like a tube inside a tube to just uh, make it... Uh, to widen the, the tube, okay? So you, you can watch the whole video, that the, the links are there, and, and we uh, remind you that the A plus videos are, are the ones that are, you should watch them because those are the ones that are very 
uh, in tune with the problem and they explain the problem very easily. They explain to you the procedure with very good graphics, very good animation. The, so look for the A plus prob A plus uh, links. Okay, those are the good ones. Okay, you have all the tips now to understand the problem. Now we're gonna come to three, so you can pause the video and give us the path now, how we got to the problem. You know the answer already, but now we, we need the path, how we got to the problem. So one, two, three. Okay, uh, that's the answer you should know by now, but let's go to the whole problem. Okay, this is the, the summary of, of the problem, right? It's a surgery and it's a digestive system. The patient presents with a history of upper abdominal pain. I call angio, call angiogram was negative and patient was sent to the hospital for ERCP, short for endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. During the procedure, the sphincter was incised and a stent was placed for drainage, right? Right. So there's only one code right? And uh, the, the keywords for this code are endoscopic, retrograde, cholangiopancreatography, and stent, right? So th this is how you find the code. Uh, there's only one code, and you find this through the index first. First you go to index. Go to the index. Then go to cholangiopancreatography. Yeah, you start with cholangiopancreatography. We told you that in the tips, right? And from there you go to Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. Yes, you add endoscopic retrograde, right? Right. To, to the first word. And then you keep going and it says with? With placement. With placement. And then placement of what? Stent. Of stent. And there's only one code there, right? 43274. That's the, that's the code that you need. Now, uh, we're going to check this code in the tabular. So the, the, the code 1 through the tabular is found like this. First, you go to the tabular. Go to a tabular section and then find the? 43274. Okay. And what is that? Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. Uh huh. With placement of endoscopic stent, pancreatic duct, each stent. Each stent, right? Now, this endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography is way up in, in, the, in the list of codes there. But uh, this semicolon, it means that you have to go down. To, to find the exact uh, description of, of, of the code. And that coincides with, with a problem. Placement of an endoscopic stent, pancreat, pancreatic duct, each stent. So the, the, um, the double hyphen here, or the equal sign, means that we have found the code. So the answer is 43274, 43, okay? And as we tell you, this is a level three exercise, which means that the, pro, that the answer that we have is not in the book. We, we have found, we have updated the answer. If you disagree, please tell us in the comments. Thank you, and don't forget to visit our website, and also... And also, you can subscribe to us on YouTube by clicking here for our new medical coding videos. And just click in the uh, subscribe button, and you will get... You will get up to three videos every day that we make. ICD-10, CPTs, all nasty in the past the medical coding certification exam. So don't forget to visit our website and also to subscribe to our, our videos. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.